Hello, AF family. Hello, uh, all students in New York, in Rhode Island, in Connecticut. It's really crazy that I'm getting to meet you guys. Um, this is a wild situation. It's, it's certainly not one that any of us hope for, but we're going to try to make the best of it. And one of the ways that we're making the best of it is I actually get to interact with students across our whole network. And I think that that's a beautiful thing. My name is Mr. Foreman. I teach band at Elm City College Prep in New Haven, Connecticut. And I am going to be coming to all of you with some, with some basic musical challenges and just some competition that we can have, uh, hopefully across all of the schools of the network. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think that we're going to learn a lot. This first competition is pretty basic. And in fact, if you are not a musician, if you haven't studied music before, there's going to be some links in the description below. I'm going to get you set up where you can participate too. Now, if you have participated before, if you have been in band, I'm looking at you, my fifth graders, my sixth graders, the returning musicians, the people who have been with me for a few years. You better not lose to the third graders. Uh, you better not. You better not have some third graders beat you. Marcus, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Jennifer. You be July, I'm looking. You better not. Abdullah, I you better not. Now, third graders, third graders, don't let them bully you. Don't let them bully you at all. Because what you have to understand, third graders, I am a much, much better teacher this year than I was when I taught them. Therefore, you are much better students, you're much better musicians than they were when they were in the third grade. July, get your feelings hurt. You too, do lie. It is what it is. Fifth graders and sixth graders, you better not let third graders beat you. You better not. Third graders, don't. Third graders, I want you to take them down. Take them down, third graders. New students, um, students in New York, students in Rhode Island, students in other schools in Connecticut. I'm not crazy. Okay, welcome to the Name the Note Challenge. In this challenge, we test to see how many notes of the treble clef you can name in five minutes. Now, once again, if you're a new student, the links below, they're gonna show you how to do it. They're gonna show you what it means to name the notes of the treble clef. And even in my description, I'm gonna still kind of give you a couple of little hints. And please know and understand, new students. Now, third graders, I'm not talking to you. You're not new students anymore. You're third graders. You're like third grade students that I teach, okay? If you are not a band student, I fully expect you to still take down some of my fifth and sixth graders. Yes, you might not take them down the first day of the challenge, but the challenges are weekly. You can definitely take them down by next week. I know you can, because they're gonna get complacent. Fifth and sixth graders, don't get new students, get them. Okay, new winners. Again, it's they reset weekly, the challenges change weekly, but every day I'm looking for a new winner. So therefore, new winners will be announced daily. Feel free to play as many five minutes rounds as you want and send me a screenshot of your highest daily score. The link to where to send that will also be in the description below. So to play, click Start Challenge. The clock will start, the, the clock is, is right up here at the top of your screen. The main number I want is this one, okay? But as you can see, what we have here is a Music staff, we have five lines. Lines are always counted from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. We have four spaces. One, two, three, four. And those not <laughs> those lines and spaces are labeled by the treble clef. Now, I don't love this treble clef. I think that this little line, in fact, I know this line, should circle one more time to make it really clear that it is encasing the, the G, because this is also called the G clef, we know. <sighs> Shame on you, musictheory.net. You made a great, great website, but a terrible treble clef. It's about the details, people. Okay, so what you are looking for is this numerator right here. All right, so in other words, I'm just going to mess up 
all right? It's, and so when I mess up, you can see my denominator got bigger. My percentage went down 50%. Mr. Foreman doesn't actually care. I don't care what your percentage is. I don't care how many tries you take in that five minute time. I care how many correct answers you get. Because I know that if you continue to push yourself for correct answers, it's going to tattoo the names of these notes in your brain. So that every time you see it, while you're talking to people, whatever it is that you're trying to do, multitasking, it's, I just want it to be so easy for you to name these notes. And that is going to come from practice. It's not going to come from judgment. So I really don't care. I'm not even going to look at what this percentage is when I'm determining the daily winner. I'm also not going to look at what this number is when I'm determining the daily winner. I'm going to look at who got the most right answers. That's it. That's the only thing that I'm going to look for. All right. So by all means, I think that that's everything that you need to know to start your first challenge. I look forward to hearing more from you. I hope that you all look forward to hearing more from me. I will be sending out um, many more tasks during this time. I think it's, it's it, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's an odd time that we're in, but we can be creative and we can take advantage of it. All right. So by all means, if you're a student, if, if you're a student in the AF network, this is something that you that you will hear me say at the end of every single class. And we'll say at the end of this, too. All right. If you're a student in my class, I love you with every single piece of my heart. I can't wait to see you guys again.